the triangle for arranging this uh, great conference again. Uh, I'm standing at the Jeff Suga, whose name's in the program. He got stuck in the space. He couldn't quite get here. He sent his apologies. So, and uh, I'll go through uh, a brief introduction. I'm relying very heavily on uh, Dave to go through the detail on our, uh, our solution for, uh, or we're thinking of a viable solution for solving the issue of mail that's uh, on the screen there, but there are quite a few, so we're particularly interested for this presentation in adapting our technology with the help of RAF, of how do we solve the problem of letters or packages which have got the wrong address, and not unaddressed, but the wrong address on it, an accurate address, because that leads to a lot of failures. Clearly on that chart you can see there are other reasons for delivery failures, and so there are other mechanisms and other ways of addressing that. But for this presentation, we just want to take out that green segment and look at the costs. And really, they break down in these various areas. I'll say that I actually translated the, um, the, the, the figures on the monetary figures on here from pounds sterling to euros. And um, unfortunately, it was. So I'll stand in front of the microphone to do a bit, need to simply. Um, it was easy for me just to change the symbol. Unfortunately, this day, the exchange rate is about parity to the euro. But that's the same figure that, uh, that uh, Charles was referring to. So this is a, the, the area we're trying to address. How do we get the trap at the beginning of the process, any errors on the address? So on the pickup point, the errors can come in when you, you potentially pick up from the recipient, the, sorry, the sender itself or uh, a post box, or a drop box, or from a business. And the primary problem is, one of, one of the things that I'm very familiar with, we've worked for a long time with the United States Postal Service, is not only do uh, people who are sending mail to people not know where they live accurately, people don't know where they live themselves accurately, and I'll show you some examples of that as we go along. It is extremely expensive in, in, in most places to have to return the mail or to return a package to the person who should send it in the first place. In some countries, it is extremely prohibitively expensive. We're doing some work in Colombia, for example, where it may take two or three days for the package to get across the country to be misdelivered or not delivered at all and have to go straight back again and then be corrected and spend two more days going to where it was supposed to have gone in the first place. That's what we're trying to avoid having to happen. There's a second reason for trying to pick up the, uh, the information correctly at the point of pickup, and that is the security of the package itself. The primary risk in many countries to the delivery of a package is the courier. And if the package has not been inducted into the system, there is no track and trace ability available at all. But when the system is working properly, you can pick up that information at the beginning, and that enables that package to be traced all the way through. The second point of uh, inefficiencies and cost penalties for not having the um, right address on a package is in the hub or the sorting center. Again, as you can see there, either the primary hub of your hub and spoke or the distribution centers around your organization. So we have to remember in all of this, there's a top line to an address, and that's where the thing's supposed to be delivered, the person. Sort of the difference between a cell phone and a landline if somebody calls my landline and I happen to be in Copenhagen, I'm not going to get the telephone call. If there are packages that I would like delivered wherever I happen to be, if I order something, I want it delivered to my work address when I'm during the working week and I want it delivered to my home on weekends, 
and that's by far more convenient for me. The ability to take the information that was on the address and compare it to a delivery database, whether a short-term one, like somebody who wants what I do with package delivery, or a longer-term one with change of address and things like that, you have an extra half day if you get that information into the system at the point of pickup than you do if you wait till it gets to the sorting hub. It also gives you the ability to schedule the logistics at the sorting hub to get the correct number of trucks going to the correct number of places because you know in advance what's going to be on those trucks. And that's a tremendous advantage that you get from having the data from the beginning of the entire system. And then you also incur pretty heavy costs, as our colleagues have, have already highlighted, if you can't actually make that delivery in the last mile. So the costs you incur are actually the, the, the final delivery depot through your van courier and the recipient as well, as well because it's a, a lost business cost or impact on customer service. To come back to the example that I was using of the work we're doing in, in, in Colombia, the package is sent, the package finally gets to the point of delivery, the person fills out by hand a, a checkbox on the form as to what has happened. And person is not there, they take it back, the next day they try again to deliver it eventually, they make a delivery. That certificate has to go back along the trade route, sometimes taking two or three days to do it, go back to the transshipment point from which the package came, and at that point it's entered into the billing system. The last mile works in both directions. It works not only for getting it to the customer who's trying to, to receive the package, but to bill the person who sent it in the first place. If you can enter that system, that information up front, billing can be sped up in some places by days, and that's tremendously profitable for the courier or the postal service that's handling that package. All right, I love this one. The problem in some countries, this is again Colombia, the problem in some countries isn't that uh, people don't have addresses, it's that they have too many addresses. This is real. What you see here are four different addresses, all of them active and all of them for the same house. One of those may be for the phone company, one of them may be for the water service, one of them may be where the government thinks the person lives, and another one may be for who knows what, their bank. And they have these multiple, they have multiple addresses. And in general, in the case of Columbia, at least, it's the government that did this in the first place. It kept changing what the address was, and wherever the person got inducted into the system, that was the address that they had. So now they have four different addresses. And some of them will be crossed out, but they'll but still be on the building because they're legacy addresses with various places. Being able to capture information at the point of delivery, for example, the GPS location of the house and the fact that it has four different addresses will make it easier the next time for that deliverer to get the right thing to the right place. As things begin to standardize, it will enable the ability to do that standardization. And quite frankly, it will become a profitable data center for the people who've gathered that information in the first place. This is the ability to gather all the information about a package from its beginning to its end and manage that data all the way through. And that's what's important, and that's what this product is capable of. So if you can see on the uh, bottom left there, the technology we've brought together with RAF and ourselves, which you can see outside as well, but I've got a short video in a minute, is we're taking a standard Intermec PDA scanner and looking, taking an image in of a, an address label, whether it be on a mail piece or a package, and, and, and extracting the data <laughs> from that image on the device, on the fly, and passing it, validating it against the local file. Normally, you would expect it to be a postcode file local postcode file, you can put the whole of the USPS postcode file, the UK postcode file on the device. You could put any other data you like on there as well, as long as we know the context. So that's the principle, so at the pickup point you have the ability to challenge, correct any in package being input into the system. If you've got rejects as you go down through the system, again you can use a mobile device <coughs> to check that address and it and if necessary just print off a new label. So that's basically the solution we've come up with. It performs the address verification and cleans it on the device so when it goes back into the system real time you've got decent accurate data. 
you can then use that, as I said, all the track and trace points all the way through your system. If you have a reject at any point, you can correct it, you can check it, and you can get that real-time customer interaction either the pickup point or the delivery point. So we're calling this uh, Verdex, it's a verification of the data, and exclusive from Intermec, you can see it outside, and it improves really the accuracy of your address database as well. I think Charles, we were talking about a churn rate of maybe one, one and a half percent on addresses per hour. <coughs> it's a really good way of trapping changes as you go through. You can reduce the transaction time going through your, your data going through your pipeline. And it allows you to introduce accurate data for the sorting of uh, track and trace workflows. So what I'd like to do to play a short video now, uh, I think it's about three minutes, if we can get it to go, and then that will be, is that playing? Hello, I'm Chris Johnston, and I'm introducing the Intermec Mobile Data Extraction and Verification Solution, which will reduce transaction times and eliminate errors for postal operations and other industries. The Intermec Mobile Data Extraction and Verification Solution will enable some of the Intermec Mobile computers to actually read and verify postal addresses and other text. Let's see how this compares to today's commonly used methods. Driver 1 uses a common paper solution by filling out an airway bill with a pen. Driver 2 enters the address manually into the mobile computer's alphanumeric keyboard. With Intermec Mobile Data Extraction and Verification, Driver 3 simply points the Intermec Mobile Computer's imager at an address or text field. The text is read using optical character recognition. Then the data is cleansed and verified against the database. Once verified, the data is pushed to the supply chain management system. It extracts text data, automatically corrects address errors, and seamlessly integrates the third-party back office applications in real time. For parcel and postal operations, this solution can save overall pickup time. Every second counts. Saving just one second per transaction delivers over $1 million to the bottom line in the form of contribution margin. Intermec mobile data extraction and verification can be used in many industries. In warehouses, it can reduce the time to capture and validate shipping and inventory labels. For field service, it can capture equipment tags and service forms eliminating the need for paper and filing. Government and public safety personnel can use it to capture and validate identifications such as driver's licenses and vehicle license plates. And for parcel and postal operations, automated data extraction and verification can eliminate problems such as undeliverable as addressed that are caused by using imperfect data while introducing items into workflows. Every second counts. Can your business benefit from faster transaction times? Visit the Intermec website for new product introductions in 2010. So in conclusion then, uh, Charles and Albert I think very loosely laid out the issues with having bad addresses in your database and in your system very clearly. What we think is we have a, like a suggestion of solution to solve that problem from a technology point of view. To expedite your uh, customer transactions, improve your hit rate on first time delivery, enhance your productivity, and so on and so forth. Thank you very much. <coughs>